Okay, now we're going, I'm going to introduce a new parent graph that we haven't covered yet. And this is the parent graph, sometimes called the inverse graph, or it's, it's a form of a rational graph. f of x is equal to 1 over x. And if you were to do a table of values, x and y, if you were to plug, here I'm going to put 1 here. If you were to plug 1 into there, 1 over 1 is 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. Notice I put, um, I plotted a point right there at 1, 1. Okay, if you were to put 0 in there, well, 1 divided by 0, that is undefined. So notice what we have. At 0, see how the graphs are getting really close to the y-axis where x is 0? Those are called asymptotes. Whenever you have 0 in the denominator and you go to graph it, what ends up happening is you have these things called asymptotes. So it'll get really, really close to that, that line, that vertical line, but it'll never touch it. All right? So that is the basic graph. And if you plot a bunch of other points, you, there will be uh, mostly fractional points. But this is what the graph looks like. Notice if we put in negative 1, 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1, which is why I plotted that point right there. And that is the parent graph. Now, what happens when it doesn't look like 1 over x? What happens when that's not the case? What is happening here? All right, so let's come over here and let's take a look. Well, remember what we've said about parent graphs. When there's something inside with the x, whether it's parentheses, absolute value, any kind of radical symbol, that tells you that you're going to move to the left or the right, and it's always going to be the opposite. So what's the opposite of positive 2? Negative 2. So you have to take this whole graph and shift it. So let's go ahead and start with the asymptotes here. We have to shift this asymptote. So let me pretend that that's right there. We have to shift that asymptote two places. So I'm going to put that asymptote right there. The next thing that I'm going to do is see that integer point? I've been trying to show you guys some tricks of the trade. If we take that point of the parent graph, I'm going to move that over to. Then I'm going to take this other point that would have been right there at that parent graph. I'm going to move that over to. And that gives us a pretty good start of where the new graph is going to be. And the horizontal asymptote didn't move, so that's going to stay right there. Well then, okay, we just took care of, well, what happens when there is a plus or minus number down here? We just did that. That, how you would write that is shift left 2. 3 is in the numerator now instead of 1. Remember the original parent graph is that. Well, it kind of stretches or multiplies by a factor of 3. So let's think about that. Let's go back to our, our original point that was here. If we multiplied that by 3, the 1, 1, if we multiplied the x value, this x value by 1, Right here, remember this is 1, 1. If we multiply the x value by 1, we'd be up here at 3. Well, remember, that got moved over to. And if we were down here, um, if we were right here at negative 1, so remember negative 1, 1, if we multiply negative 1 by 3, we'd be down here at, negative 3, but that negative 3 also got moved over. So now look at what we have for the graphs. The graphs still is going to get really close. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Really, really close, but look at what's happening. It kind of rises a little bit more quickly, three times as quickly. So now we're going to be
And that is what that new graph is going to look like. And I know there's a lot of, here, let me, let me make it a little bit more, a uh, little bit easier to see what's going on. I'm going to make, whoops. I'm going to see if that makes it easier. Doggone it. I apologize, you guys, that I keep doing that. I'm not meaning to do that. Yep, I don't think that's helping. I'm going to remove the parent graph and see if that helps so that you can actually see what's happening here. And I'm going to delete that original asymptote so that's not so confusing. And that's what the new graph would look like. All right, that's it.